and just going for the chance now, apparently. And the small herd over here. Get out of there. Hopefully I got a little bit of lead on. I think I got at least a few bites on the champ. Did the para? Okay. Just try and distract it, I guess. This chance can be the chunky one. The baby's bleeding. Get the pair. Hey guys, Captain Blackbird here. Welcome back to another episode on the channel. And today we are returning with Father Acro. I thought we could do maybe one or two more episodes with Father Acro, since sadly in that, uh, I think it was 3v2 at the end of last episode, there was three Acros versus two Rexes, and sadly we did die, we got caught with a tail snipe, and they were Rexes, so the bone broke us instantly, so yeah. But now we're back. We're heading over there again. If there's Rexes there. Probably gonna fight him. Honestly. Get some vengeance. But the good thing about Acro is it has pretty fast trot speed. So it shouldn't take too long to get there. It's currently morning. So I think we'll reach there by maybe afternoon. Yeah, I think we'll get there by afternoon. Acro can travel pretty good distances. Doesn't have the best night vision, but it's not the worst. It's just its camera angle for its size is not great. It's more zoomed in on the Acro. If you've never played Acro, it looks like this like, the entire time. While other dinos can have more zoomed out. Now, let's see. Where, yeah, we're going over this way. Right this way. Yep, just taking a shortcut. Uh, why did I go up the hill? Just gonna crouch. Also, if you guys didn't know, crouching can help negate. Uh, leg break and all that leg breaks make it so you're less vulnerable to leg breaks not from like other people biting you just like when you fall it's bigger creatures like acro and giga and rex they all have really bad weakness to leg break when falling carno and utah i think are like the best ones that take. Okay, guys. <coughs> Sorry. We have arrived, and there's actually another pack of acros here. Uh, one adult or two. Fearless sand. Right here. It's just an adult, but they're small. Also, I just heard a beat over here. Just wanted to make sure. Is there? Okay, I don't see a Viva. But anyway, it sounds like there is a Rex, Rex or Rex pair up the hill to the left over this area. There's a pretty big herd down here with a fairy. And... Is there a San Utah somewhere? Yep. Rex is up there. I'm checking out what's down here. There's an Atlo. Could go for the aloe, definitely. Utah or champ. Oh, there's so many champs. That's I don't like that. So many. Oh, <laughs> what is this? What? Why are there so many champs? Oh, there's a camera. 
Gamma, one, two, three, four, five. Five Shams total. Five Shams, a Trike, a Dibble, a Fairy, three other. Three other. Utahs, I think. Check it. I think the Rex has a body right there. Dibble versus Utahs. Small shant right there getting attacked by like hordes of little ones. You see all these little ones right there. I don't know what the. It's air. Okay. Two Rexes? There is two. I feel like that one looks small, though. That's another. I feel like that's another. Flow grown aloe. Like the one I took out with an Alberto up the, up the hill over there. So. I'll we'll have to cheer, chill here for a little bit until they're done with the body. see you guys once the body is gone and we might honestly even fight these rexes at one point they'll either come for us so we'll either have to go for them or they'll come for us and I don't have, like there's like two full grown adults here but then one of them's healing from a dildo fight apparently so yeah I'll see you guys once the body's gone Nothing else interesting happens. Okay, apparently we're getting attacked. Yeah, okay. We got attacked, apparently, by Rexes. Yeah, I was. AFK for a minute there. And I was, I was perfectly fine. So I'm well, that happens around midnight. I'm just gonna get some water real quick right here. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, guys. We are here now, 
And we are going for the Rexes. Yeah, we are going for them. Definitely are. Just need to be careful here as to not get lay break. I think no, they're trying for the trying for the rock. Let him get to the rock. They get to the rock. Be careful here, Nimran. Okay. I can try and work it out here. I think they got. them out. Or, actually, maybe big right here. This is big right. Right here. Can I go up this? some canyon over here. He's a runner! Right before we got to him, you kill a Utah. See you guys in a second. Okay, I just cut the last part out because nothing happened right there. 
and just going for the shits now, apparently. And the small herd over here. Get out of there. Hopefully I got a little bit of lead on. I think I got at least a few bites on the champ. Did the para? Okay. Try and distract it, I guess. This chance would be the chunky one. The baby's bleeding. once we're all healed and the body's gone so probably see you then yeah see you probably right after it's gone i think guys that's where we're gonna end up this episode though we had failed rex hunt because they hit the end of the waterfall and just kind of stayed there but then we had rex's hunt us earlier before that and then we had us fighting the herd over here. So, all in all, wasn't too bad of an episode. Wish we were able to hunt the Rexes, though. That would have been better, but... If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Uh, we're at 213 the last I checked, so thank you guys. We can hit maybe like 220. Hopefully soon, but we'll have to see. And that's all I'm going to say for this episode. Hope so again. See ya.